Hey, it's me, Judy, pediatric nutrition specialist. And once again, going through questions that you guys send me. And here is one from Leanne who says, my seven-year-old is a natural fruit and vegetarian. We have just recently been able to get him to eat any kind of meat. My worry is anything he will eat has to have a very, very large amount of salt. He is well, has only been on two antibiotics his whole life, no allergies, can play all day without ever wanting to take a break, wears out his friends and is a very smart kid. Could the salt cravings be coming from his mostly fruit and uncooked veggie appetite? I worry about this. He takes vitamins every day. Okay, well, hmm, Leanne, yes. I think that what would be interesting to know about your son is what his growth pattern is like and if he has, how has he traveled since birth? And that's something that I always scrutinize with, with new patients in my practice. And I wanna see kids pretty much stay on their trajectories. If, if your child has kind of slowly shrunk, if you will, if like the velocity of his growth pattern has just slowed down over his lifetime, then that's a surefire signal that that fruit and vegetable diet is not adequate. And I will also say it is not adequate for kids to, to eat just fruits and vegetables. As much as we love them, they do need fat. They need some serious fat. They need some great protein and I'm glad that he's starting to eat meat. Um, what does that have to do with the salt cravings? Well, depending on his growth pattern and what he's really getting for oils and fats and proteins, that can really stress out his adrenal glands and pump a lot of cortisol into his system. That will make him want salt. It will make him crave a lot of salt. Um, absolutely, of course, as always, tell your pediatrician about this, see if they have any other insights. But it, like I said, it'd be really interesting to have a food diary in front of me for like three days and his growth charts from birth and his growth data right now. And, and I could tell you a lot more about what might be going on. But for now, yeah, let that kid eat a lot of fat and, a, and meat if he's gonna go, go do that for you. Okay, stay tuned for more questions. Thanks.